Smith here, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center. And today I wanted to talk to you about Y-Drop. So you're probably questioning, Stephanie, that looks like a crescent wrench. What is a crescent wrench doing in a cornfield? Well, when we think about Y-Drop, it's a tool, just like this crescent wrench. I know if I have this crescent wrench, and maybe you at home have this crescent wrench, chances are you're gonna be a better mechanic with this than I. So when we think about Y-Drop, Y-Drop is a tool to deliver mid to late season nitrogen to a corn crop, soybeans, canola, you name it. But what's the whole idea behind it? So let's think back to last year at this point in time. Last year was an extremely wet year. Okay, We had issues getting into our fields before V6 because of saturation, even to make any nitrogen applications. So what Y-Drop allowed us to do is to account for all of the nitrogen loss last year. We were able to apply later in the year. But in general, basically the more nitrogen you applied to corn last year, the more favorably it responded. So let's take a look at this year. Here in the eastern corn belt has been extremely dry. Okay, the tool of Y-Drop will work very differently this year. So for me at V6, soil was extremely dry. We hadn't had rain for two weeks, yet everybody out with a coulter had to go because they were limited in terms of ground clearance. What Y-Drop allowed us to do was broaden our window. We didn't have to go into dry soil at V6 with UAN. We could wait until we had proper soil moisture and we could wait to see our rate. Okay, If I had to go out into this cornfield at V6 to make my application, I would have been stuck on what I was planning on in terms of rate, 105 pounds. Now, since this year, we didn't really have any loss of nitrogen in comparison to last year. So instead of the rate I was planning on, 105 pounds, I can now come back and hit this cornfield at V8 to V10 with what Soil Scan is recommend, recommending, which is about 85 pounds of nitrogen. So in general, what this tool allowed me to do this year was one, wait until we had soil moisture, and two, I'm gonna be able to save 20 pounds of nitrogen on this field versus my plan. In general, we're able to time nitrogen application better. Obviously, we have a lot better placement of this nitrogen. I took soil readings, uh, soil scan readings across the row, so we're in 30 inch rows. In between the rows, I was at 16 parts per million, and in the row, I was reading about six. Okay, this field had a blanket ap nitrogen application with our weed and feed, okay? And we also used some AMS. It was a broadcast rate. So we're seeing differences within those 30 inches of where this corn crop wants to pull up its nitrogen. Oklahoma State studies indicate that 65 to 75% of nitrogen comes within seven inches each side of this corn plant. And when we think about it, it's that root ball. And what you see above ground with a corn plant, you see below ground. So as far as those leaves come out on the sides and we think about where our leaf mass is, that's where our root mass is underneath that plant. So why drop? It's a tool. It allows us to better time nitrogen and allows us to better place nitrogen. The nitrogen rate is going to be impacted by the year. Did we have a lot of loss? Do we have adequate soil moisture? Last year this field, I had to apply 125 pounds at V8. This year, I'm close to 85. 